What if I told you that here shortly you'll be surprised by an additional paycheck for the month? Let me explain. So every single year, there are four months out of the year that have an additional Friday tacked on to those months. The reason that matters is because typically we budget off of a four week month. So with those extra Fridays in place, you will be seeing an extra paycheck and a lot of us just don't know what to do with those paychecks. We don't realize it and don't budget or account for those. So for the year 2024, for those of us that got paid January 5th and get paid bi-weekly, you'll see that third paycheck in March and in August. I hope these uh, visuals are helping you out. <laughs> and then for those of us that got paid bi-weekly on starting January 12th of this year, you'll see it in May and then you'll see it in November here. And for those of us that get paid on a weekly basis, you will see it in March, May, August, and November. So here are the three things that I recommend you do with those extra paychecks. Number one, contributing to a retirement account. So personally for myself, because I get my first one in March, I'm going to be putting mine in my traditional Roth IRA 2023. The reason I specifically say 2023 is because the last date to add money to that account is in April 15th of 2024. So thankfully I can still contribute to that and catch up. So those of you who are getting an additional paycheck in March, potentially think about maybe putting in that account. And if you earning it later or getting your paycheck later, you can always put it into your 2024 as well, or put it into your other brokerage accounts. Cause I have a, I have a one through my retirement and also just have a regular brokerage account. And if you guys want me to, I can make a whole entire video on what uh, stocks and ETFs that I personally put my money into and I think that are really safe and I think you guys do well. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see a video on that. But that is one of the first options that I think is very important is putting it into a retirement account. Secondly, I think it is very important to start an emergency fund if you have not. So the reason I think that is important is because a lot of us unfortunately do not have enough saved for emergency purposes. So a specific emergency fund, you want that money set aside for in case, let's say your car just spontaneously explodes and you can't get to work. So with that money, potentially a couple grand, you could get a used vehicle to get back into the motions of getting back to work and doing aid, getting to A to B. Or let's say you have a medical emergency, something comes up and you don't have enough money to pay the bill. There you go. You have a couple thousand laying around and you can put it towards that. And with those emergency funds, I recommend putting them into a high yield savings account. Specifically a high yield savings account because if you put it into your regular banking account, um, you're potentially only going to earn point, point five percent interest. And, tip, and with a high yield savings account, it is upwards up to 5% depending on the bank you choose. I personally bank with Ally, so I am getting a 4.3% return instead of 0.5 on the money that I have in that account, which is slightly beating the annual inflation rate. So if you have your money just sitting in a 0.5 account, technically that money you have sitting in there is going to lose value every single year. So by putting it into a high yield savings account, you're slightly beating inflation and also you're gaining some money every single month. So it's very important, and if you're looking uh, looking to find make an account, you can go in the description down below. I have my ally referral, and by doing so, helps me out and helps the channel and lets me do things like this. So check ally out and look into other savings, other bankings, of course. Ally's not the only one, but that is just personally the one that I bank with, so I am going to shout them out. I am not sponsored or anything. Ally, if you want to, you can sponsor me. Third, lastly, is paying off debts. There are numerous ways that you could have accumulated debt or have some debt. So some of those can include student loans, car loans, um, private loans, and uh, other things such as credit card debt. That is probably one of the main ones that a lot of Americans and us have. I personally just cleared all of mine. I had a little sitting around just for a little bit when I was saving for my house. My loan officer told me to put my, my daily needs on that credit card and just save more money for a down payment and et cetera. Another story, but with that, um, paying down credit card debt is very important. That is one of the highest interest rates. People don't really realize it when they sign those contracts and accept those credit card offers because they put in really small print sometimes or they, they start off with a 0% interest rate for 18, 12 months, let's say, and then after those 18 
months, 12 months, it skyrockets to 15 and higher. 15 is usually on the very, very low end. Personally, for my credit cards, I have really good credit. And minor mindset currently, I think my lowest one's at 18, but typically you're gonna see 20 plus, 20 to 25% interest on those. So definitely, if you have some credit card debt, attack those with your extra um, paychecks that you're gonna get this year. And then also attacking student loans, potentially if you have high interest rates on any of those, personally with mine, thankfully are very low. Mine were through the federal government. So I think my highest one's 3%, which is pretty much matching inflation. So another one as well, like I mentioned the car loan, you wanna attack the principal of your car payment, if that's possible, if you're allowed to with your loan. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you can't. So typically with loans, you typically pay the interest first. So you're paying the interest on that and then you're actually paying what you wanted to buy. So with a car, typically you pay the interest and then you start paying the car amount. But sometimes you can do another additional payment and specifically target that towards the principal, which will lower your monthly payment. So if you're able to do that, definitely do that. And then maybe you wanna put those extra payments towards your, say if you're a lot older and you're financially in a good position, maybe just put those towards your mortgage just to get some extra payments in. So in summary, the three things you wanna do those additional paychecks is you put that in a retirement account, Roth IRA, or just probably put another brokerage account just and have that save for retirement. Secondly, you wanna put that into a high yield savings account or an emergency fund starting if you've not, and adding to it if you already have a BN one. And then thirdly, paying off debts. So the, not really a particular order for those, just whatever works best for you and what is best for a situation. I, you know yourself best, I can't particularly pick for you, but those are the three things I think is the priority here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you guys wanna see more of this stuff. Comment down below, um, maybe if you haven't really thought about those additional paychecks. I sure haven't. And when I started looking into the upcoming paychecks coming for March, I was pleasantly surprised and happy about that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.